हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज़ फोर स्काउट इन दिस आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल फोर स्काउट वाया ओ वी एफ फाइल इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो विच इज अबाउट सिक्स मंथ एगो इन दैट वीडियो आई हैव इंस्टॉल फोर स्काउट वाया आई ओसो फाइल नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डाउनलोड द इमेज विच इज वी एम वेयर वर्चुअल इमेज फ्लेक्स लाइसेंस इट मीन्स यू हैव परचेज सम अमाउंट ऑफ लाइसेंस फॉर फोर स्काउट एंड यू कैन क्रिएट अ नंबर ऑफ वर्चुअल मशीन्स एंड इंस्टॉल दीज लाइसेंस ऑन अकॉर्डिंग टू यू नीड ऑन ऑन योर वर्चुअल मशीन्स दिस इज फॉर द पर अप्लायंस लाइसेंस मोड मोड एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज आई एसो इमेज which i have already shown you in my previous video and this is the upgrade file for upgrading to 8.2 to 3.0 8. Uh, it is file this file is for upgrading 8.2 to 8.3 now without wasting time let's start uh, let's start uh, the uh, configuration so without wasting time let's start the configuration in my pre uh, in my previous video i have already shown you how to install force code via iso and in this i am going to tell you uh, how to install via uh, ovf file i have already downloaded i have downloaded the iso file i have down uh, i have already downloaded the uh, vmdk file that is ovf file in this there are several uh, types of machines like large medium small according to you need you can choose i am going to choose this medium and one of the vmdk file this is the type which i am going to go installed and this is the main database from which it can be installed okay now let's see how to create a virtual machine and install this machine with the help of ovf create a new virtual machine in below that use a deploy a virtual machine from ovf and ova in my case it is ovf now give the name of the machine i am giving four scout now click on this or you can drag drop yes as i already told you i am going to install this medium version guys always remember that uh, the type is medium you can choose according your need small extra large large okay and this database file because it has all the installation files in this so these both files are necessary then click on next and then tell the storage this is the management in my case i have my exi server has lan force lan force scout and next is span port i'm telling you again in my case my management is lan force my monitoring port is span and my response port i don't have any other uh, so i have only two but these are taken by by default it is a predefined so no need to worry just click next and finish now we have to wait for some time these two files are going to be uploaded on my exi server and after completion of this then i can only able to start my configuration or start my installation of machines we have to wait for some time
guys always remember that uh, first we need to <clears throat> upload all the data to the server here you can see that the progress is about 15 percent and then only you can able to start this for scout test machine some more time now you can see that file upload is complete and uh, it's ready to install let's start the machine as you can see that I have chosen this by default you can see that it has 10 CPUs and 24 GB RAM and 200 GB of hard disk this is my configuration of this virtual machine which is pre-installed by OVF file and do the installation you can see that my file is uh, both the files were uploaded let start this virtual machine I am doing this installation via OVF file. Let's start the configuration. Now it's asking for which type of installation do you want. We are going for the standard, standard installation. Yes. Initialize the setup. Certificate, certificate compliance check mode. No. No disk encryption is always no what type of installation you need appliance or a force code manager we are going for the appliance in case you uh, you want to uh, manage some appliance you need to install enterprise manager in my case i am installing counteract appliance per appliance licensing mode of flex uh, we are going to install flex licensing mode per appliance licensing mode for physical appliance and flex licensing mode for virtual appliance give the description of machine NAC password as per your desire host name I have mentioned NAC DC ETH and guys these interface are not by default these interface are, are uh, already in your EXI server in my Excel server I have three interfaces sorry <clears throat> guys these management interface these interface are predefined by force scout OVF file in my case I have a, a management interface ETH 0 then dis uh, assign the IP address I am going to assign this IP address then assign the management IP address 
नेटवर्क मास इट इज ओके नो नीड टू एंटर द नेटवर्क मास देन डिफॉल्ट गेट वे आईपी वर्जन सिक्स नो डोमेन डीएनएस सर्वर guys this is the summary of my appliance setup if you want to test you can do in my case i am not going to test it is okay if you test this configuration uh, it is going to check uh, gateway speed of the interface and all this suppose if you uh, it here it is uh, one troubleshooting is there also suppose that you have entered some wrong information like management ip address or a host name or you want to re enter again you can you can uh, press r so that you can reconfigure this uh, whole setup again so we have to wait for some time for uh, installation final installation now installation is complete and in few minutes its service will restart and start again we have to wait for some more time yes now you can see that installation is complete and you can download the force code complaint via this url and i am going to enter this and uh, let's check by default username is li admin password enter the password yes i have logged in successfully fine now i'm going to tell you how to create a shell password now it is asking for the cli admin now i'm going to tell you how to configure shell password shell set hyphen password it is asking for the new password in new password if you want to create a shell password you always remember three capital letters three small letters three special characters and numbers are are the minimum requirement for creating a password now check we are able to log in or not this is the shell password yes now run some commands fs tool sys info so that you can get information here you can see the cpu 10 cpu then license status is invalid memory i by default memory it's taken 24 in which 7.3 gb is used 16 gb is free and these are the interfaces vm interfaces
uh, hi guys this is the full scout ovf installation in my next video i will show you how to uh, configure full scout via gui now let's check whether we are able to log in this or not Now let's check whether we are able to log in or not. Yes, portal is open. Now click on the download to download the console. Please share, like and subscribe my channel. for more videos so that i will uh, and also comment on my video if you want some uh, some support from me guys like share and subscribe my channel Guys, this this is the Force Scout installation via OVF file. Uh, for more videos, please comment on my uh, channel so that I can make more videos for you. And please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Uh, it is very helpful for me. And also comment if you need any type of support from me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.